Hi folks, Fred Dolafaro here for the Fisherman Magazine with our weekly video fishing update. Trout remain the best bet for bending a rod on the island. There's lots of wind on the weekend, combined with cold water temperatures, sabotage the efforts of most cod and flounder hopefuls. Sunday was the better of the two weekend days as the Point Lookout base Captain Al and Superhawk had fares picking away at some cod, ling, and a few pollock. Flounder season got off to a slow start. But a few private boats working the north side of Great South Bay did manage to put limit catches together with flatties up to two pounds. More attention will be focused on Flounder this weekend as several more open boats enter the game. This week's mild temperatures and a few days of sunshine should help improve the flatfish action. Remember, the minimum size remains at 12 inches with a two fish per person bag limit. Striper reports were mostly limited to the Hudson River and far western sound but count on that changing over the course of the next couple of weeks, especially with the season opener set for next Tuesday. A few holdover stripers continue to come from tidal creeks on both forks and tidal rivers like the Carmens and Konequat. A 19-pounder was reported by whitewater outfitters in Hampton Bays, but most of the fish are schoolies. Still no word on new regs for fluke and flounder, but we'll be sure to get the word out as soon as we hear anything. The fluke size limit is pretty much set at 18 inches with a likely bag limit of 4 or 5 fish and a season running from May 17th to September 21st. But these changes are still in the rulemaking process. There is also the possibility of flounder season being extended beyond its current dates of April 1st to May 30th. Some good news for surf fishermen is State Parks opened up Gilgo State Park to 4x4 four four access this past Friday evening. Closed the past few years due to severe erosion. A beach replenishment project to restore dunes destroyed by Hurricane Sandy has made the beach suitable for driving again. Don't forget the deadline to purchase state 4x4 and sport fishing permits is April 30th. They will not be available again until after Labor Day. 4x4 permits remain at $65, the sport fishing permits at $30. Until next week, I'm Fred Golafaro wishing you good health and a successful 2014 season.